I guess this is gonna this vlog is gonna be called the one minute updates by Mary. You guys may laugh at me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like trying to pick up the camera. Yes, my hair, I mean, it is what it is, right? It's a humid couple days, so my hair has just been like, wah, which is fine. It's kind of honestly how my life has been as well, but in a good way. Uh, buddy, he's playing with a uh, um, sippy cup ring thing, like the handle part. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Ah, where do I set you? Where do I put you? Okay, you're going right there on the windowsill. Perfect. Okay, the sippy cup ring is now a bracelet. So, good news. Um, okay. <clears throat> Couple things. Peter's at work. And I've just fed baby. Elijah is cared for. Everything is under control at this moment. This moment being key. Okay? Yes? Okay, we're still good. But I just got a phone call back from the police department, which I don't know if I, I guess ultimately I'd expected not to hear back, but I filed a police report. If you guys remember a few days ago, my backpack purse diaper bag was stolen out of our car. And I'm guessing, well, presumably the car did not lock when we went into the the grocery store. One of our doors has been a little finicky, so it doesn't super surprise me that it didn't lock. Sometimes we'll hit the lock button and it all works perfect and sometimes it doesn't. So um so anyway a window wasn't broken but my backpack was gone. Hey bud yeah you've got a bracelet I like that that's really nice can you look in this green bucket and see what's inside? Yeah we're gonna go outside in a minute Okay, so I just got a call back and the I got to call the police officer back, but um, they had a couple of guys breaking into cars that day and he said he was trying to put the pieces together. So he needed a couple more pieces of inf information about what was stolen. So that's exciting. I don't know. And he asked what was the last pinged address from the headphones. So... I don't know. I I really would love, love, love to get my bag back. I would really love that, but we'll see what happens. I think my hope for that is pretty low, to be honest. I'm told that sometimes they just take what's inside and throw the bag away. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but we are gonna go for a walk. So I'm getting out the door. I need to change my shirt because it's warm outside. And anytime I'm like, no, I just need to get out the door. Let's just go for a walk. And I leave my hoodie on. I'm like miserable the whole time. So I need to go change my shirt. And it's just, I think right now it's a lot of managing who's where. Um, okay, dog and cat are in the front of the house. Okay, bigger babies over here, smaller babies over here. Okay, um, make sure Elijah's not graciously sharing his toys with small baby. Wood blocks are not for small babies. You know what I mean, like that sort of thing. If you're a mom of multiples, you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> so it's a lot of managing, but we're doing it. We're having fun and it feels crazy, the best kind of crazy there ever was. Do you guys ever feel this? Like I'm getting ready to go out on this walk. So I'm like, okay, let's go, let's go. And then Elijah started playing with that wet fern behind me, which is great. Like, I think that's a great thing to play with and learn and- ah. Hi. 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 But then I'm like, well, are we gonna go? Are we gonna go on a walk? Or are we just gonna sit here and play with the fern? You know? And I'm trying to decide whether to just scoop him up and put him in the stroller or let him explore. So I went with letting him explore. That's what we're doing. 
We're just bumping down the stairs and exploring the wet fern. Hey there, shaky shaky. Shaking is fun to do. Hey. When we were in the adoption process before Elijah was born, we found this stroller on Marketplace. And it was like, that I was so excited. And when we got there, the woman was like, I actually have two seats for it. You know, you can have both of these. And Peter and I were like, oh, are we gonna fill both those seats? I wonder. And here we are, 17 months later, and both seats are filled. So it's pretty amazing. <clears throat> One of the songs we sang a lot when Elijah was first born is the song, Miracles on Miracles. Count your miracles. One, two, three, four. I can't even count them all. And this last few weeks, I've been singing that song a lot again. I think probably one of the things that's been the hardest in the last few weeks, between Peter starting his new job and adding a new family member, is just the unfinished projects. Because there are a million things to take our attention each day, and some are just not the highest importance. <clears throat> like, we we're gonna install a TV. We started the project, we didn't finish it. We were gonna, like, I was gonna take this travel bag up to the third floor. I got it here to the second floor, didn't finish. Just little stuff like that. And that does start to feel a little overwhelming. I mean, even I have a load of laundry that I just ran, I need to switch it to the dryer. Uh, I need to empty the clean dishes and fill it back up. You know, like those little things where maybe I'll even start it, but I won't finish. Those things are a little overwhelming. And I'm just trying to figure out, like all of you guys, what is the toppest of priorities and what can wait? Or what could like, just, oops, ouch, you okay? Banjo, banjo. <clears throat> okay. And helping the toddler not to go. Ah! He's going upstairs. Okay, uh, so those are my thoughts midday. Things I have not gotten done, and that's okay. Life update. I'm sitting in Elijah's bedroom. Oh, please give to mama. Um, I'm sitting in Elijah's bedroom, and I was <clears throat> playing some music, and the song whatever it's called, I don't remember. I don't have to carry all the things that weigh my heart down, even when it's scary. You will hold my hand. Something like that. It's so true. There's a lot that weighs our hearts down. Little things, big things. It's okay. We don't have to carry it all. We can't. Our brains and our hearts can't possibly carry it all. So that was a good reminder. Okay. I guess this is gonna this vlog is gonna be called The One Minute Updates by Mary. Hallelujah. Orchard trees keeps tall for us are asleep. <laughs> that feels miraculous. It's good. It's been a good day. And I will say today, baby has been home for, this is the sixth, sixth day that he's home. And I feel less tired today. I don't know. I think it was just like the transition. 
my body just took it as like, I am so tired. I'm not up through the night. <clears throat> I am just, I am sleeping a little less because I'm getting up earlier, but um, anyway, I was just really tired and just feeling so drowsy throughout the day. But today I feel more lively and that's good. It's a good thing. Also, the sun came out, which always helps a little bit. And a friend just stopped by, which also helps a lot. So it's good. It's a good day. Today's a good day. Not an easy day, but a really good day. Okay, you won't even believe this. What? Peter's mom came into town and the babies are asleep and we're going on a date. It's true. To Walmart. To Walmart. <laughs> we're getting groceries. And diapers. <laughs> hey, we switched to disposables when we found out that this little sweetie was joining our family. Oh. What's happening? Oh, thanks. Oh, okay, thanks. We got in just in time. We, um... We switched. Oh, no, this one. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Um, yeah, when we found out another little one was in our family. Whoa, that's a good deal. She has a watermelon. Though. Should we get another one? Three ninety-seven for a while. I have never in my life seen them that cheap. Mad okay, that so. As I was saying, we switched to disposables because we knew that our capacity, one, Peter just started a new job, so he's gonna be out of the house a lot more. And then adding a second baby, it was just like, we need to switch to disposables. And so that has been fine, but needless to say, we're buying diapers. So. I should get a cart. Um, what is that? It's like gooey on the outside. But like I think it's a tortilla here? heater upper. No way. I think so. Yes. Remove tortillas from package, separate, restack, wow. and then place in tortilla warmer. Wow. It's a wrapper heater. A wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> we, that's great. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited. This is Mary out in the wild after the babies are asleep. Okay. See, okay, I see Peter coming. He's coming. He looks like he's on a mission. The mission to find me. He's riding the cart. Like a crazy person. And this is how we're gonna end our night at Walmart. Where dreams come true. Alright guys, thanks for joining. As always. See you later. Peace out. Bye!